All right, so let's go ahead and try a practice session using a mini mister by Ranger Inks. So I've put some dark color inks down and let it dry and I'm grabbing my mini mister made by Ranger and you can see it's just a very small bottle and it's a little tube in here so you can really use any kind of spray bottle you have but the trick is is having a fine mist spray you know when something that has too big of a hole so I'm just going to spritz this I've got it filled with 91% isopropyl alcohol fairly close to the painting and you can see this awesome texture that this makes so let's go ahead and try it again we've already sprayed it once and the inks have become a little bit more wet because they've reactivated and let's see what happens the next time so you can see it's even more and I've got this big drop of alcohol that hit off here to the right hand side <laughs> so you just got to be really careful you don't want this happening to your painting so you want to make sure that you have enough in your bottle to spritz but not too much because it will reactivate the inks too much and then you'll start to, to bleed or to blend it everywhere so let's go ahead and try it again with some wet ink this time so I've just gone ahead and threw some on a little piece of Yupo paper here just letting it air dry just a little bit. This is a lighter color, so you can see the difference between the dark colors and the lighter colors with the inks. And that is almost about dry. So let's grab our spritzer bottle again. Be careful not to inhale the fumes, so make sure that you're following all manufacturer uh, recommendations with this. So I've gone ahead and spritzed it again from a distance, and you can see this nice little pattern it gets in here. It's still quite wet. So let's go ahead and spritz it one more time. A little closer this time. But you can see the beautiful texture that this can create for you. So if you do it higher away from the paper, your mist or your dots will be a little bit smaller. If you get closer to it, they tend to be a little bit bigger. So like I said, if you have spray bottles at home that you want to try, just make sure that those dots are not going to be too large for you. So some of those bigger misters will really um, put too much alcohol on there. So this is one, uh, let's try this one one more time. Uh, this is one that's been dry for a long time, a little tree that I've done. And this has got quite a few layers of ink in this one, so it's fairly thick. But this is a great way just to lighten and to add some texture by changing the values in your painting. So again, just a nice light spritz. And you can see, you got to kind of wait for it to react to see what it's going to do and how far it's going to bloom before you spray it again. And you can see what a beautiful uh, lightening of this does. So once you're ready to try in your painting, give it a shot. Uh, if you want to practice this a few times, feel free to go ahead. You know, it gets a little nerve-wracking to go ahead and spritz your painting. <laughs> so uh, make sure you've got it down before you go on to your original.